How is it going, my dudes? It's your boy, Rusty Roo, and I am back for the final time with Miles Morales. Yes, I had a look online and found out that this mission, the next, are the last one. So it's going to be a long episode. I can't believe how short this game is. Um, yeah, it's kind of took me by surprise a bit how short the game is. However, let's get straight into it. So if you remember last time we fought our uncle, the Prowler, after we beat Rhino and his new cool armor, but then the Tinkerer, also known as Finn, decided to um, chuck some uh, swords into his neck. Um, this is your last chance, so there we go. Let's confirm this is the end of the story. Um, right, last chance to upgrade anything. Um, on, scan, keep them marked as long as staff remote. Yeah, cool. Let's have a look. I think I'm all, I'm pretty good. Oh, also, in my spare time, you'll have noticed I've also done some more activities. Uh, took away a few, um, like, boxes and stuff like that. So, I've, I've geared up a little bit. Um, so, also, we unlocked this new gravity well, which is pretty cool. It basically, you throw it on the floor and it sucks all the enemies in, uh, which is really cool. So, yeah. Um, right, collections on, and that's all that stuff. Um, right. Let's get into the end game then, shall we? Yes, ready to go. You see right, here we go. And the underground moves right in. Finn's got to be inside. Yeah, Defo. She's Defo in there. I wonder what we're going to have to do to Finn then. Right, here we go. Boom. Boom. Let's go. Right. I've honestly I've loved this game. Like I said, I'm just really surprised at how short the game is. I um I just can't believe it. I thought it would be kind of half of what Spider Man was. Obviously I knew it, it's a small game, but I didn't know it was this small. Because I've like I said, I've done it in six parts, whereas Spider Man, I mean, yeah, fair enough, I filmed it for longer last time like I was doing like new two hour episodes and stuff, but yeah, quite surprised. And we've not really seen many bosses either, to be fair. So, yeah, here we go. Right. Okay, right, so those two are my big priority up there. You're sick. I'm fine. Shh. Lights out for you. Lights out. Here we go. Right, so let's have a look. Where the where is the more enemies? Over there, over there, over there, over there. Right, okay, let's let's get rid of these. Here we go. Boom. Right, needs to kinda of get high up, don't we? Oh, somebody's gonna spot me. There we go. Um, Imagine if he pops back up and finds out we killed his protege. Not an enemy I want. We would have gone after him eventually. Both yeah, it's not going to happen, let's be honest. Anyone who thinks they can stop us from doing what we want. Oh, sugar. I keep forgetting I can jump, you know. Whip! Boom. Yeah, I do like the camouflage. Eh? Move and disappear. There was a cool suit on the original PS1 Spider-Man game where you could basically have um, uh, invisibility. I can't remember what the suit was, but basically you could you just toggled it and you could walk past enemies. And there was a really cool little Easter egg that you could literally just hear them talking and stuff about what's going on and what their job was. It was really cool. It was ahead of its time, that game. And I say that about a lot of PS1 games, but that seriously was ahead of its time. Come on. Disappear again. There we go. Out of focus. Right. I want to pull that down. Boom. Out for the count. Another man down. He's still here. 
Yeah, I know. I know I'm here. I'm taking you all out quietly. I'm well, doing my best to. Chris, you there? Chris! Somebody check on him. It's not so peaceful, knocked out. Boom. Look at this. Take him out. In a nice sequence now. Is there any more over there? No, it's just all these ones over here. You're done. Oh, oh, that was a bad time to come out of camouflage. That was sick, though. <laughs> she made up for it. Um, oh, there is one more over there. Not anymore, though. Here we go. Whip. Boom. Right. Oh, do you know what I just realised? I forgot to do it. I always set my time out. Right. So, this is a behind the scenes for you guys. I always set a timer so I know how long I can record for. And this div here has forgotten to do it. Honestly, you think I'm a professional, but I'm really not. Right, here we go. Boom. Boom. Right, there's not many left. Where is that other one? Oh, he's there. Whee! Here you come. Siesta time. He's not gone yet. Ah! No, but you are. All right. Let's see what kind of security they've got. Uh, Electrifying. Same kind of thing. barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. Ooh. Those shacks, which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source. Um, where's there another like node? That giant spinning mobile. Um, webs won't reach. Webs won't reach. Oh God. No. There we go. Yeah, this will work. Uh. There you go. Yes. No, apparently that doesn't reach either. What's stopping it? No. Yeah, that doesn't line up. Okay, so how about if I go from here, this side? Will that work then? No. Is there another one that I'm missing? Am I am I just being an idiot? Am I being a, a big idiot? Oh, bring that one all the way around here, because that's got a node on for sure. I like the fact that these games got puzzles, but I am being baffled by them. And this has come from the guy who managed to complete Portal within like a few hours. No, I don't understand. Right, is this one it? That surely can, can be it. Surely, surely. There's one. Got it. Right, so is it just to Sticky open up that? And conducted. <laughs> right. That's one. Feeling good. So what does this one do? What's this what's in here? Oh, this is gonna work. Oh, it's another gem. Okay, okay. This is working. A couple more. 
there. Right. So that one can't fit there. Why? Hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm being a div here. I thought it was having to connect to there. We can just go straight across, can't it? Yes. H how do I manage to get through lock? I really don't know. Okay. I saw one more. Uh, Can't believe how well this is working. <laughs> neither can I, mate. It's famous last words there. Uh, gotta be behind all that. There's one to that. I need to finish draining the generators. Yeah, I know. I know, Miles. I'm just trying to find the other node. Wherever that may be. Is that the moment? It's not showing up. Unless it's already opened. Oh, it's open. Oh, that explains why there's no other node. Then. Um. Right. Wait a minute. Let's go. Oh, sweet. Let's go. Right down the ground towards. <clears throat> Whee! Boom. Boom. There we go. And we're in. Oh, look how shiny this floor is. Ben, Somebody buffered this to, like, no end. There he is. Is that Neil? Neil Armstrong or is it Buzz Aldrin? Who knows? Ah. Oh. We've got an aquarium. Is that nearby? The exhibit was down that hall. There you go. Do, 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 do. Ray tracing to its finest. <laughs> yeah. With all the shiny things. Ooh. More tech gear. Can we upgrade any gadgets with it, actually? I know. What? Ah, no, we need more activity tokens. That's what we need. And that one, I, I just need New Game Plus. Which I'm definitely going to do, I think. New Game Plus was wicked. Well, it is wicked, but this game has been wicked. Um, yeah, let's do that. Because the Venom Smash area is quite small. Right. Finn! Come on. We need to finish this. You and me. Have you noticed? I've just noticed on the back of his spider. And there, look, that is reflecting down that, hall. that. We've come so far in games. And do you know what? Every time I, <coughs> there's a new generation, I always say this. I go, how can we improve on that? It's just going to get to a point where it's just real. It's, just, it's like FMV games. Project while we're still young. Here we go. We're as young Miles. I'm coming, I'm coming. Younger Miles without his hey, hair. Where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Mm. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists. We are Today, real scientists. Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Ha! <laughs> Wrong. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. Our hands are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. You know what I'd say? Probably like kale or like seaweed that you get from the Chinese, even as basically just fried lettuce. This model no, it's not fried lettuce, what is it? Is it fried kale? I don't know. I like it, however. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. 
<laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Yeah. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Those look like the things from uh, Men in Black. You know, like the, the sources in the first one. Used around the world <laughs> since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What? You scared? Of sharks? The dark? Tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. Oh my god, look at the size of that, those two fishes. They're massive. Is this a different one or is this the same? No. So this fish, I want to have a look at this fish. Look at it! Imagine catching that. That's mad. I can never remember the name of the Where's fish that Dory you? is. He just texted. But Said you see those fish, the they're like there, they're, so they're swimming in a tube, oh, to coming up on the right now. Basically. Those fish, when they're younger, they're actually yellow when they're babies, and it's only then when they get older they can turn blue. And I believe they're also the only fish that can change its gender. That I could be wrong, but I think that's the case. Since I love fish. I love aquatic life. <coughs> Before I wanted to be an actor, <coughs> I, uh, I, I actually wanted to be a marine biologist. Because I love aquatic life. I, just, I love being in water. I'm not a fish. <laughs> Leviathan. Love it. Ooh, what's this? The Earth is bigger than you think. Ninety-five percent of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored. Mm -hmm. It could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. It is, any. It? It's like loads of people say, ah, oh, there's so much of space unexplored. Yeah, but there's so me. much of the ocean. And, and you know you get people who are like really obsessed with uh, space and stuff, that's me with the oceans, I love it. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The that isn't from the 18th century. Was developed with salvage work in mind. Today suits such as these are used by salvage oh. workers, scientists, I was about to say, that, that is definitely a modernised version of the suit. Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Well that Can't means I'm definitely fighting somebody in that dance. enough. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's go to the main hall. Wow. Upstairs. This Here's is elevator. awesome. We've got time to look around first. Yeah, I mean, I was always going to look around first. Look. What's this? Ah, oh, the little this buggies. This proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. So it looks, it reminds me of is, you know the opening to Total Recall, uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger version, not the, not the Colin Farrell crap one. But yeah, that's how they open up. <clears throat> Because humans have colonized on Mars. So what's going to happen with Elon Musk, I reckon? I don't understand why everyone wants to go and live on Mars. Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. Take all that. I'm sorry about this, guys. good music on Mars. Let me just grab me drink. That's better. Oh, just need a good old drink. Right. They look weird. But like, they look really tiny. I don't think I could live in that. Because it's just one room. You'd go insane after a while. That's what I believe. Nice after experiencing the lockdowns, we would have gotten here faster you're just going to go insane. Oh, what happened now? <laughs> Definitely would have made an entrance. Three, two, one. Go! I mean, I'm definitely... Can I play this game? <gasps> oh my god, it's a game! <clears throat> I'm get Can I play with Finn? Because if so, I'm going to kick her ass. Ooh, we gotta play! Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? No. I've got great Never. button mashing skills here. What button am I pressing? Oh, faster! Come on, Rocket Buddy! Come on, 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 come on,
Yes! Gotcha. Suck so a fat one, Finn. Better at than you. <laughs> Not for long. Suck a fat one. Right. What else can we go and explore? Ooh, what's this? <coughs> Jesus, they're massive. Really? Well, we already know there's water on Mars. Because that was proven. I can't Mars remember how long ago. It's like do? the photo of a black hole. The most blurriest like image I've ever seen in my life. Pedestrians? No, no, don't want to go to there. Is there any more stuff I can explore? Oh, what's this? Solar energy, already popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells stickers. can be. Go on, take a sticker. Nah. No. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. <laughs> Tricky to power yourself with them. Like, you put them on and you just become powered. Maybe that could reduce tiredness. A bit like uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's ones. Have you seen them? Basically, she's got these stickers that you stick on. And apparently they're meant to meet the frequency of the air. And it helps heal and stuff. You just look like somebody's just put a sticker on the red. You look like an apple. And we all know what apples mean. It means you're an asshole. <coughs> I bet the sound quality on these are dope. You might say. Not from space. You never know. Right, let's go and speak Do you to her. have tickets for the special exhibit? Yes. Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. What? Can't let you go upstairs. We're gonna break Thanks in. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Yeah, we can break right. in. Let's see that door? The hallway back. Sorry, just interrupted you. <clears throat> Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones will work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Wow. Something <laughs> reflective. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking now out the need fancy something vocab. something slide under the door. Oh, something yeah. long and flat. Something that can be both. I mean, long and flat. I saw an alloy display near where we came in. Maybe ah, yes. What we need. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. That's cool. This stuff is crazy. Think Whoa. it's a metal material? What? Must be. That's eat. awesome. Wonder if it's using a phone on it. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Don't let anyone Let's see. Go. There's two people who have just watched you steal oh, that. Oh, man. Sorry. All good. I'll attach the sticker. It's Peter and Oct Let's get that door open. Octavius. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Uh, Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Oh, well I miss done, Otto. Peter. Can't believe he turned, man. I couldn't man. do this without you. Can't believe he turned. <sighs> we should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Bye, Peter. Hey, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? <laughs> Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? Yes. You know you can talk to me about it. No, God. I, I'm fine, but I'm sorry to run out on you again. <clears throat> Not at all. Work will be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Doc. Hi, can I talk to you? Hi, uh-oh. How you doing? You look better. Peter! Peter! I'm miles from the future. You just ignore me. You're just gonna ignore me. I'm miles from the future. You teach me. Where are you going? Oh, no, I can't go that way. So you're definitely gonna load out now, aren't you? Right, anyway, let's get back to what we were doing with that weird mesh stuff. This is either genius or really, really stupid. Eh, it's probably Maybe a bit of both. Research lab someday. That's... I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. Right, no one's looking at us yet. 
Gotta hurry. <clears throat> right. So we need to say shines. There's the sticker. That should work. That works. See, I'm we a genius. Come on. Our project oh, and that is quite weird to comprehend a Brummy being a genius. <laughs> right. Let's go. That was awesome. It was, wasn't it? I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be Those busy. Suits are cool. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. I wonder if they'll be. I wonder if they'll okay. be used for the rock song. Ugh, uh, this is troopers. getting mushy. Come on, <coughs> let's head upstairs. Yeah, if you only knew that I'm about to kick your ass in a few years time, eh? Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Ben says hi. You kids having fun? <laughs> the fact she's just Make there sure going, oh, well, you yeah, know, just have to leave deal. it. <laughs> it's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. Oh. Oh, Miles. This is it. Our project's in the back. What was it that you created? I know I've picked it up as part of the time capsule, but I don't know what it Otherwise, is. Otherwise, what's the point? Wow. They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. I thought I said journey through the star. <laughs> is there any problem with that font? Science station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. Hmm, I don't know. Just look at the Fantastic Four. What's this? Can I go in these? No, nope, can't go in them. Those are, are those just seats? Ooh. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp nuclear reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Wow. Do we get to know what it is? No. Nope. That old plant. Amazon's keeping it super secret. Yeah, we production just got a new high tech upgrade. Cultivating <laughs> agriculture in nutrient enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming in space a reality. Wonder if they can grow flowers in space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? Mm. You trying to impress someone? I'd yes. like to be prepared. <laughs> In case yes. I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. Whoa, whoa, whoa Finn, what are you doing? <laughs> Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday Finn, what are you doing? Solar system. Why are you walking around in the circle? The Apollo program. Hey, we can what? name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16, 17, I, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. Don't name it that. That's a horror film. <laughs> our project. Yeah, great. Um, I don't want to go to our project yet. I want to carry on looking around. I'm really intrigued by space. I love museums. I genuinely absolutely love them. I love learning. I don't know why. I just lo love learning new things, especially stuff I want to learn. To maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. I need to get that picture cool. of you in our converter for your dad. Yes. You know? Oh, it's a converter. Is it like an energy converter or something? Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. It's mad no that, isn't it? Can you imagine really having that exhibit. as your title? Ticket Crazy. Only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? <laughs> Not <snuck> important. In. <laughs> hey, hold up. 
That's we the woman downstairs. She just went, they've gone in. I'm going to have to let them go now. <laughs> you got to be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that. No. Now we need to go and kick her ass. Is. I want to know, is that thing heavy or is it quite know. light? Like, you know, I'm like the helium cap. To you. Just... Oh, come on. Bring it. Oh, I haven't got no benefit. Ow, okay. I lied, I lied. God's sake. Right, you want to see what this gravity well does? Woo! <laughs> Boom. Woo! Bam! Oh, that was truly on. shocking. This is my favorite museum! Hey, man. To the middle of next week. What? Bam! Boom! The underground just showed up. Our rocks on tank. All the roads out of Harlem are blocked. Where are you? Near your apartment. Trying to find shelter. Keep the tail of Bodega. I'll be there soon. Let's <laughs> push the guy who's coming through in a minute. You gotta take care of them before Woo! I get back to Harlem. Boom! To Harlem now before Finn destroys the reactor. Traversing like a bus. Here we go. So we're on to the Jiggy, last mission, I believe, me. guys. How's the evacuation going? Back. Rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it 20% melee damage unlocked. Yes. What well, I'm about. You're breaking up. Where are you? Yankee? If you can hear me. Sorry, just need to upgrade a skill whilst thinking about it. What what does this one do? What's this? Press and then perform a free uh, venom jump. Yes, we can do that. I'm on my Always way. helpful. Hang tight, right. man. Please. Go. I've never seen a storm this bad. It's pretty bad, isn't it? That's some sort of storm this bad. It's one of the beasts of the East game. Whee! Boom. Genki, can you hear me? Genki! God, proper. Proper grim. They're gonna destroy this park. Even 
Even the Magia could beat you. Even the Magia could beat you. What's no good? We learned that from the uh, DLC, but you guys didn't know that. It was a. It was a it, uh, it was DLC, and I never played it on the channel. I only played it recently. I bought them on the PS4, and I just never played them. I don't know why. Bam. I do not like the rocks and soldiers. They're a lot stronger than the uh, sable ones. More guys on the rooftop. They're fighting everywhere. Boom. Woo! Bam! Oof! That's gonna sting. In a bit, mate. Boom! Boom. In a bit, mate. <laughs> non stop, man. This is mental. Hey, this game has a peanut allergy. This is not stop. This is insane. I just literally non stop. Boom! In a bit, mate. This is our apartment building. Please don't burn down. I'm getting lost in the blizzard. I need to head towards the gunfire. Can you hear me? Yankee, oh. I'm headed east. War Stop the war in Harlem. I'm trying. I'm close, but I need to take care of Rockstone and the underground before the streets are safe. Hold the line for Tinkerer! Prepare for war! Pump me out of this crowd! No! Boom! I'll kick your face in it though. Right, here we go. This is just chaos. Whoa. Like I said last time, I keep forgetting Thank how strong worry. Miles actually is. Make a break for Who's that? He's the strongest Spider-Man compared to Peter. Guys, guys, listen, hey, we need to get out of here. But I can only carry some of you. What? Jesus. Oh, Got our suit, that man. Oh no.
Spider-Man sighted. Get out of here, young blood! Ah, oh, okay. The fire is gonna help us out. You've got more Good. things to do. He's right. Go. Here we go. It's the end game. I'll be back. Look at that. Look at the goosebumps. Okay, people. <laughs> Check every door. We don't leave anyone behind. No! You don't know what you're doing. They deserve what's coming to them. No. The reactor. Krieger changed the specs. You're not just going to destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're going to vaporize all of Harlem. I'm not going to let you lie to me again. You're finished. Just take that stick out your ass, man. Just listen to me. You're too late. Oh, yes, Miles. I can't let you do this. I can't let you stop me. Here we go. Don't you see what the reactor's doing? Destroying the plaza! Carrying down! Where's she gone? Where's she gone? She got invisible! If the plaza down, camera's just like this absolutely proving itself. Ow! Ah. I don't want to fight. We'll talk. After I disable the react. Is he going to try and absorb all of that? Because if he is, that's mental. Miles, you've got this, son. Every chance to leave. 
Don't throw him into the core. He's just going to absorb all that and then what be present be a walking you? nuclear you bomb. Win. Why do you keep fighting? Because I'm Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Miles. Okay. Me too. That's us. Ah. Ah. Miles. Oh! Oh, this boss fight, man. Give me another Gwen Stacy moment, is it? I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh! That's definitely going to be it hurting in the morning. Son. Further. Oh, Miles. No. To hurry. I know. It's gonna blow. Any minute. Oh my God. Come on, Miles.
because he's basically a walking nuclear bomb at this point. Get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? No. You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? <sighs> He's our Spider-Man. Troy That's Baker. right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka the Prowler, flipped on him and Roxxon. Davis will serve time. Oh. Let's get a reduced sentence. I think we can all. Ah, oh, look at the mural, man. But together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. I'm looking good, Haley. This is where we come from. Miles is so cool, man. I love him. This is where we come from. Yeah, we made it. Not a whole team celebrating. We like, uh oh, 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 o
Hey, back! <laughs> Man, I still can't get over that suit. So cool. Gotta be me. Yeah, you do. Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Finn, all of Harlem. I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man oath. Go time? Go time. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe how quick that game's gone, but what a game. Like, it was just so good. Oh, I love these credits, man. Honestly, I just can't believe that. I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be that good. Ah, oh, man. Like, there was so much going on. Like, I like the fact that we had Prowl uh, getting involved more. And obviously, um, I like the fact that he helped us at the end. Um, I quite like the Tinkerer. Now, I know quite a few people are like, oh, it's not great. But I genuinely really enjoyed the Tinkerer. I thought he was quite a nice little villain. Um, I've got to admit, though, the only thing I will say let this game down was its price tag. Now, to buy this game, is what, 45 quid if you were to buy when it came out, or 60 quid if you want to buy the Ultimate Edition, which comes with Spider-Man Remastered. This was a DLC. This definitely could have been added as a DLC instead. Because I can't justify that price tag. Like, obviously I've bought it, but I kind of bought it because I wanted this and Spider-Man. But apart from that, still, what a great game. I'm so excited for Spider-Man 2 now. Especially with the likes of Venom involved, but the fact that hopefully we can play both of them and switch on the fly, which I think is so cool. Look, that's going to be the dopest thing ever. Oh man, I hope Prowler gets a little bit more involved in the next one as well. Oh. Insomniac Games, man. You absolutely did yourselves, outdid yourselves again. I just. I love the sound, and the soundtrack is so good. It fits Miles Morales' urban vibe so well. Love it. Man. I hope Rhino isn't killed off. I personally don't think he is. I really hope he isn't killed off. Because that let me down big time. Because I love Rhino. I love that scene. It's so good. She know what the deal is, the clip full of heroes. She made me move walk on the ceiling. Oh, man. Just ask, they know where to end. Why, Kane? I'm so excited to do a new game plus now. Especially because that means they get to play it all again. <laughs> ah, that man, when she did that. I mean, this game is stunning. I mean, I've seen it on the PS4 and it looks stunning, but on the PS5, this is amazing. Amen to that. We can all be heroes. Oh. Wakanda forever. Chadwick Boseman, man. That was a sad death. Wow. Be greater. Be yourself. I, this is why I love comics. Comics put such a good life lessons into everything. <gasps> oh, this is Harry. Oh my God, is he waking up? Where 
residents of Harlem are still feeling the effects of the recent citywide uprising of the group known as the Underground. While the Rockstone Corporation deals with a rash of lawsuits, newly elected city councilwoman Rio Morales addressed the media yesterday to make a plea for additional public funds to assist with the... Vitals are good, circulatory system healthy, um, brain activity normal. I've been there long enough. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son. That means Liz is definitely coming at some point. Sure. But we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said, get him out! Now! Right, through to the credits, skip through because I don't know why I feel like there's an extra scene here. And obviously, I don't want you guys to miss out on anything, and I don't really want to miss out on anything. <laughs> Come on, honestly, the guys who do this game, the work that goes into it, Insomniac, honestly, are just phenomenal. What a company. Like, yeah, every company makes bad games. But Insomniac, when they got the Marvel license, I've never been so excited. And I think a lot of the things that people were excited with with the last game as well was when the web swinging came in, everyone was a bit nervous. And then when they saw that Insomniac games got it perfect again, it just meant Spider-Man was going to have great games. Ah, oh, man. What a game. So many credits. I just can't believe that's flown by that series. What, there's only... This is part six? Like last time we had four extra parts. And I did longer episodes. I can't believe that. Come on. <laughs> do, 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 do. So many people worked on this game. That's nuts. It is amazing, like, because games these days now get budgets, like films, but they get massive budgets to make it. Especially like games like this, and then also like the Avengers game, which you know, let's be honest, didn't do that great. Um, yeah. Again, loads of people have told me that the um, Guardians of the Galaxy game is quite good, but I'm still a bit saw from the Avengers game because that really like threw me because I played it I was so excited and like my brother he was quite lucky to go away to a convention with his college at the time and he played it and he said oh yeah it looks wicked nice and then we bought it and and then I played it and I thought oh because I was imagining like a free roam sort of game I wasn't expecting it to be so linear and that's what really let it down for me because if, if you haven't played it, it's basically where the Avengers are kind of outcasts and uh, there's a law saying about superheroes are no longer allowed to be around. A little bit like how Civil War was. Um, but yeah. It's just annoying. Right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> My thumb's gone numb. <laughs> My thumb has gone numb. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, Let me switch thumbs. Can I do it with this? Yeah, I can do it with the stick. That's fine. Oh, what a game. Oh. So I keep hearing irrational raves from hormonally unbalanced youth Jared's age. Wait, you're how old? Good heavens, man. Get a real job. <laughs> About this friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Just slow it down so we can listen to they Jonah. This young Spider Man can do anything. <laughs> well. I just used said app to place an order of Saganaki from my favorite Greek restaurant in Astoria, specifying I wanted it delivered fresh and in the traditional Greek manner. Set a blaze in front of me. <laughs> I was quite happy that we saw Jonah at the start of Santa. Boy, Spider Man can fulfill this. Here you go, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> Spider-Man's broken in and is killing us with fire. I'll be darn. This isn't delicious. Uh. Got a commercial, Jared. I got some feasting to do. Oh no, you should have ordered your own. This is mine. Mine, Jared. Out. 
<laughs> the guy who plays Jonah in this is amazing. Uh, there's been no other good Jonah Jamesons apart from uh, the animated series, the one from the 90s, and then also, obviously, J. Jonah Jameson being portrayed in the uh, films. Like, nobody's ever got it right since that. And this guy has, so I'm really appreciative of this. Oh, it just makes me happy. Oh, oh my good how many motion trackers and artists? Look at that! That's a nut. <laughs> this credit's lasted longer than the majority of the game. <laughs> I'm just saying, scrolling through, because like I said, I just I want to see if there's another end scene or anything. Because sometimes they can be hidden. Like obviously we got that one with Harry waking up. Oh, I'm so excited to see Venom and hear Tony Todd as Venom again. Yo, so many studios are involved in this. Oh, pow! Entertainment. Havoc! See, I told ya. Told ya. I'm a Marvel fan. Goodbye, Finn. Boom. Congratulations, you finished main story, but the game continues. You start fresh, ultimate difficulty, and that. Ah, look, we got Spider Man the Cat in the bag. Good luck, hero. Excellent. Wow. Well, there we go, guys. That is been Spider Man Miles Morales. You busy? Um, not too busy. Oh. What's going on? Just left Trinity Church. It's all right. It's not like I was talking, Ma. I was thinking about Finn. And. Tell me about it. She saved my life. And yours. Everybody's. But she's the one who put us in danger in the first place. After seeing what happened to Rick, I get why she did it. People are messy. Take your uncle Aaron. He's the reason Krieger's in jail. And he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him, I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, mijo. Or her death. Just remember who she was and why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiende? See, si. te quiero. Oh. Well, guys, that has been an amazing series, but unfortunately, as they always say, good things must come to an end. So, if you like the video, make sure you smack that subscribe button and hit that like button. But until next time. Bye!